My name is Paul Wilbur. Let the Lion Roar is a docudrama, a film that is so timely for the space that we live in today. Uncovering some of the greatest secrets, the most hidden information that we really need to know and understand in this generation. It uncovers for us some of the mysteries that uh, are impacting our lives today. How could there be such a thing as Christian anti-Semitism? Why does the Bible say that the gospel is the power of God for salvation, but it's to the Jew first? How have we missed that? This is a very powerful docudrama that will bring to us the information that we need, the secrets of this generation. My, my role in this is uh, I am a voice that comes in and out of the set declaring the word of the Lord. So when I was given the script and told that I would be declaring Jeremiah 31, one of my favorite chapters out of the entire scripture, this was just not only a good fit for me, but this was perfect. Uh, my experience here in Nashville has been uh, really an amazing one. I really came in here not knowing anyone. And then the joy that I had here today, discovering that my dear friend Chuck Pierce is here, uh, my lifelong friend, Rabbi Jonathan Burness is here. I knew I was in great company and, uh, and everyone from behind the camera to in front of the camera to the direction and makeup and costume and all the rest has been a real joy. These are messages that are so on point for right now. These are huge in the heart of God. And I don't say that uh, carelessly or frivolously. These, uh, this could have an impact of changing the heart of the church worldwide. For those who have ears, Jesus said, let them hear. Those who have eyes to see and those who have ears to hear, this message can turn the tide of a, of a listening church to understand that this gospel is the power of God. It is for the Jew first that what we're talking about here is not only the restoration of Israel, but the return of Yeshua, Jesus, the Messiah. And so uh, that again, sounds like a grandiose thing, but the, the power of, of the word of God going in, taking root, it can produce a rich, rich harvest, revelation in the heart of man. That's what gets us born again. It's not an amassing of information, but revelation hitting the spirit of man. This is revelation that when received would have the opportunity to form a revolution in the church of the way that they face Israel, the last days, and the return of Jesus.